Hello, Concito. It's Bobito, man. So here's uh, how to do animations in SketchUp. There's a plugin called Keyframe Animation. Pretty simple to use. Uh, basically, it works with scenes. So all you do is uh, we're going to make a group here. It doesn't necessarily have to be a group, I don't think. You make that. Double click. Well, double click. Make a group. Okay. Then you make your first scene. All right, there's scene one. This is the keyframe animation plugin uh, dialog box. So basically, you take your object and you record the position that it's on. So press this little button. Make a second scene. Okay, and then move the block where you want it to go. Record that position again. And now, if you go to your scene, let's see. Oh man, what happened? Oh, there it goes. So I'm place, pressing the play button. And then it just goes from scene to scene. Oh, I know. you got to press that play button for it to work. If this thing is off, then going from scene to scene won't. Well, oh, I see. You press that. That's right. It's been a while. So see how you go from scene to scene. It won't work. But if you press the play button, then the scene will work. The beautiful part about this is it does a lot of different things. So here we are in scene two. Scene two. And I'm going to modify the uh, the uh, scale of it, so that, and then re-record that um, that frame. And then if I switch, it'll not only move, but it'll also scale. So I think you can do that. You can also rotate. So we'll go back to scene one, and then we'll rotate the block. All right, and then re-record that. And then when we go from scene one, it shrinks and rotates. So you can do all sorts of stuff like that. The other thing that this thing does is called tweens. And uh, basically, uh, you, you already know this, but um, so we'll go to, let's see. No, not that one. So you know all about scene transitions. So, uh, you know, you can enable how long it takes in between frames, if you want to stop, and how many seconds it takes in between scene one and scene two. So this uh, this make tweens uses that information. So we gotta save it first. So let's save it. Control S. Okay, so you save it. Then you make these tweens. And what happens is is it uses let me see if I can find the dialog box. Oh yeah, here's the settings. So this little dialog box comes up, scene one, scene two, you can tell it, you can overwrite the scene transitions and delay, and you can, let's say you wanted to fast, do one fast, and then do one slow, you can manipulate these uh, relative to each scene, and it'll produce a certain amount of, um, uh, it'll subdivide in between scene one and scene two, it'll subdivide and make additional scenes, you can see here that that says 10. So you can bump that up to whatever you want, um, and then uh, you'll see what happens. So that's that's scene delay. Now when we go to make tweens, tweens are scenes in between scene one and scene two. So uh, press OK. You can see up here that it made it made a whole bunch of uh, scenes in between. It tells you to save this as a different um, as a different SketchUp file. So you say yes. And now when you run your when you run your animation, there's a series of delays, and then your uh, box scales and moves. And then this is I think they do this so that when you actually cut an animate when you when you uh, go to um, oh uh, there's a good reason why I can't remember why. But actually what it's doing is so if we stop the scene and we go to these are actually, oh, I know, when you make a movie, it actually makes different objects that are scaled just the way, you know, so I think if you look at F7, okay, I really don't know what it does, but I thought it, what it does was it created separate boxes that were relative to the scale or re relative to the changes that were made, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so this is called Key Animation. Uh, look it up at sketchucation.com. Uh, I'm sure you know how to use the plugins, how to load them up, but that's it. All right, bro. See you, Mike.